So you finally managed to carve out some time, you're chilling on the couch with your PlayStation 4, load up your game and only to find that it's laggy, can't connect to servers and you certainly can't hear your other teammates on the voice chat. Very, very frustrating. If you've got those problems, don't worry, I got you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix all that. Let's do it. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Leron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks on how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So before we jump into the PlayStation solution, it's important to very quickly understand the network. So typically you would have a modem. The modem connects to your service provider, giving you that internet connectivity. You then have a router. That router could be a separate unit or could be mushed together as a combo unit into the modem. Now the job of the router is to distribute traffic around your network. As each device connects to the network, be it wired or wireless, it gets an automatic IP address from the router. So now your individual items have an IP address, which means they're able to connect and therefore certain rules will apply for that device. Now, when you open up a web browser on your computer, it goes to google.com, for example, it goes out into the web, it looks up for something called a DNS, which translates google.com to an IP address and then sends you that traffic back. We know that's how DNS works. More videos up here about DNS if you need more information. The second thing that's very important to understand is that not only does it do the name lookup, but it also uses different ports. Depending on what you're doing, depending on what program you're using, what protocol you're using, it will have a different port number. So for example, web browsing is port 80. FTP, port 21. Email could be 25 or 993, depending on the protocol again. Now what's critical to know here is that gaming also uses protocols and uses individual protocols per game and not all the games are using the same protocols either. This is also one of the reasons why you might find that one of your games works perfectly fine and another one simply doesn't. So today what we're going to do is we're going to issue an instruction to the router to say, look, if anything comes in on a specific port, send it straight to the PlayStation. From the PlayStation, anything on a specific port, send it straight out into the gaming servers. And when we do that, we're going to have a vast improvement on our gaming experience. Sounds technical, but I'm going to take you step by step through this. Let's dive in. Okay, so let's go to the PlayStation. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top where it goes settings, click on that, and then scroll down until you see network. Go down until you see view connection status and go into that. And here we go, there is the IP address, 192.168.1.157. And the second thing to note is the FP address of the default gateway, which is your router's IP address. You're gonna need that next. Alrighty, now that we know the IP address of the router, what we're gonna do is go to any web browser. It could be on your phone, it could be on your tablet, it could be on your computer, and simply type that IP address into the URL it will ask you to log in. Hopefully you've changed the username and password since you've installed it. There's a video that I have all about that. I'll link to up here in the cards as well. So what I want to do is I want to go into my router and I want to see that the device I'm looking to connect to, in this case, the PlayStation 4, what is the IP address on there? So I know I saw it on the PlayStation itself, but I just want to verify and there it is. It's 157. 192.161.1.157. Cool. Next up. What I want to do is I want to find where on my router I have port forwarding. This is a Linksys router. It's going to be under security and it's something called apps and gaming. Sometimes it's called port forwarding. Sometimes it can be called virtual servers. So look out for it. How do you find which one is on your own router? Good old Google. How to port forward on a and put in your router name and model number. Press the enter button and there's a step by step instruction. In fact, it's gonna take you to a website called portforwarding.com. Love this website. As you can see, step-by-step -step instruction how to forward on this particular router. If you've got a different one, no problem. All you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to their router list and simply find your router and in there, it will give you the instructions. So, so now that you know how to forward a port, well, which port do you actually forward? Right, on the left-hand side, click on list all programs. And here you will see an extensive list of all the programs that they have ports for. Sure, let me look at this list. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a search for Fortnite. So Control F, Fortnite, 
And then we got this Fortnite for the PC, for the Xbox One, but I'm on the PlayStation, so I'm gonna look at that. Okay, so let's break this down. So you can see on the left-hand side, you got TCP and you got UDP. You're gonna need both. So TCP, you can see it's got a first number and then it's got a second range of numbers. So one is an individual port, one is a range of port, starting at one port number, going up to the second port number. Okay, how does this apply to your actual router settings? Very simple. Go back into your router, go into apps and gaming and port forwarding, and you'll do that on your individual router. Click on add a new one, and I'm gonna give it a name. Let's give it something like Fortnite. And now I've got the start port. What was the start port? 1935 under TCP. So let's just double check that, 1935. Yep, I'm gonna copy. Go back into that starting port, 1935, end port, 1935 and it was TCP. Next up, we're gonna put the IP address that we remembered, this was the individual IP address of the PlayStation. So, if I remember correctly, it was 192.168.1.157. Let's put that in, and then click on Save. Right, now we go back to the portforwarding.com, and I'm gonna look at the range, and I'm gonna click on Add. I'm gonna give it a name, so still Fortnite. And now there's a range. Let's go back to this list. First is, 3478, let's copy that. Starting port, 3478. Ending port, 3480, copy that. And in fact, you'll notice there's a little bit of a space and I'm gonna show you why that's important. When you paste it, you'll get this error message. That's just because of the space, just simply delete it. And what was it? It was still TCP and again, the IP address. 192.168.1.157, click on save. All right, so now we've done for the TCP, but remember it had a UDP as well. So let's go back, UDP 3074. Let's copy that quickly. So click on add, type in Fortnite again, and then we're gonna go to the starting port. What was it again? Uh, 3074, let's copy that. Starting port, ending port is the same port, and there was UDP. And the IP address is still the same. 192.168.1.157. Click on save. One more because there was a range there. Let's go back to that range. So I'm going to type in Fortnite. And go back. What was the range? Copy that. The starting port. And then the ending port as well. Copy that. Go back. And we're going to paste that in. Okay. Oh, now you're going to get an error message. Now, why did you get this error message? We got the error message because we're already covering that port range under the TCP. If you remember above it, look 3478 to whatever it is, 3480. So this actually falls in line with that. Cool, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna cancel this one, go back to the one we already have, click on edit, and instead of saying just for TCP, we're gonna say it's for both TCP and UDP, save it, and basically you are done. Well done, now those ports are gonna be forwarded directly as they come in and as they go out, they're gonna go straight to the PlayStation. But wait, there is more. What happens if you wanna do another game, for example? Do you do another game at the same time? Yes, simply do a search for your next game. Now, I'm currently playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, so I can do a search for that, and they've got the ports right here. So, TCP, and they've got a UDP as well, and it looks like there's only one port, essentially, that we gotta deal with. No problem. So now that I know how to do it, go back into my router. Let's make a copy of this first. Go back into my router, and I'm gonna go to Apps and Gaming, and I'm gonna go Port Forwarding, and I'm gonna add another one. This is underneath the Fortnite one, so everything's all grouped nicely together. And this time I'm gonna give it a different name, so I'm gonna give it Modern, I don't know, COD. And what is the starting port? Let's go back, double check, copy, and go back into my router settings, paste, and what was the end port? The same port, and it's on both. TCP and UDP were exactly the same, so I'm gonna keep it as both. Let's just double check. Yes, it was. We wanna make sure this is right. Now, what was the address? 192.168.1.157. Click on save. And this is how you add games to your port forwarding, going directly to your PlayStation, which would make a world of a difference. So let me know, did this make a difference in your life? Let me know in the comments below if you like more videos about Wi-Fi, internet, connectivity, making it faster and better. Check out some of these cool videos down here that I'm pointing to frantically. And then if it's your first time here, hit the head below to subscribe. Love to have you join us. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you in those videos. Let's go.